like we be running them out and never make it. That's just too bitter for words. Hey Faith Gang, I'm back at again with another video and if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Faith Gang. And if you're not new, hey Faith Gang, I'm glad y'all came back to watch my video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my takedown routine for taking down my box braids. And I had these in for about maybe like a month and a week. And as you guys can see, like my hair is definitely grown. Like look at that. My sister said that um she thinks... It's like a half an inch of growth. And these did serve their purpose. So I'm glad that I got to wear them. But I'm going to start off by using my scissors. And I know that my hair like isn't all the way down here. But I mean you can kind of tell like where my hair stops. See like right here where it's like starts to get really frizzy. And you can kind of see like my color sticking out. So I'm going to cut, just to be safe, I'm going to cut like right here. And y'all, I think this little, um, this little gold string was so cute on my hair. I didn't want to have like too many decorations going on. So I just decided to do like one little strip of um gold string. I got these done May 3rd because I wanted to have them ready to go when I um, went to California. May 17th and today is June 1st so I wanted to have my protective style in before I went out of town and so um I got the box braids because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of swimming but the irritating part of the whole situation is like it's, it wasn't even hot in California. Like, I'm going to spill the tea to y'all and just tell y'all straight up. Like, it was, I live in Michigan and um, the weather in California was like cooler than it was in Michigan. And I'm like, me, my mom, and my auntie went all the way to California thinking we was going to be in the nice sunny heat. But no, it was cold. Or, that was kind of real messed up. I bought so many cute swimsuits and um, so many cute outfits. And I wasn't even able to wear them because it was it was chilly. And I didn't want to be out there looking silly, freezing my butt off. And the weather wasn't even conducive. Like, I was just so irritated. I am definitely going to be making my way to California. Hopefully next summer, honestly. I did really enjoy myself when I went to California. It's just the weather is just, it just wasn't what I was expecting, especially my first time going to California. Like, I was just real hurt. But I know this can be a long, boring video if I show you guys me just cutting my hair. So I'm gonna finish cutting the braids and I'm gonna be back. Alright you guys, so I'm done cutting my box braids to the length where I'm comfortable with starting to take them down. I like to start taking down my box braids from the back of my hair. My cousin did a really good job with installing these box braids because my hair wasn't like tight and my scalp didn't have like red bumps. I mean it might have been like a little irritated at first just because I haven't had um, box braids in a while and that is like a lot of tension to have on your hair so... It's basically the usual feeling of how it is when you have like a new style and when you have your hair tucked away. It was really nice seeing like all the mountains and the um like the different buildings and they have a lot of Mexican restaurants. The Mexican food was really good. Actually, I take that back. The food was good but it wasn't what I expected. I usually um I got these shrimp fajitas. And I don't know why I thought that the shrimp was going to be like chopped up. But it was like whole shrimp and the shrimp wasn't even all that seasoned well. So I was kind of like disappointed because I really thought I was about to be having some good eats. But no. But um, we did go to Venice Beach. We went on the Santa Monica Pier. And that was really nice just like seeing the Pacific Ocean and seeing God's creation because... And I don't know about y'all, but it is so breathtaking, like, just seeing all that water and just 
seeing no end to the ocean because if you really look like far out at the ocean you can never see the end of it until you're on the other side of um you know the pacific ocean and my auntie actually told me that china is on the other side of the pacific ocean so you won't actually be able to see the end of it until you get to china i definitely though want to go to china and actually see where like the pacific ocean stops because i know what's on the other side since i went to california when you are taking down your box braids you want to just you want to just be aware that your hair might shed. But I really did love having my box braids because like it's such a low maintenance style and yeah you want to make sure that you keep your hair moisturized and that you don't just neglect your hair because then when you take it out you'll have to deal with your hair being dry and it might even be tangly so you still want to make sure that you are moisturizing your hair and that you are protecting your hair with like a bonnet or even like a scarf around your edges and if you have a um a satin pillowcase you can protect your hair that way too and i'm gonna be honest with y'all like when i was out of town i wasn't moisturizing my hair and using the oil like every three to four days like i was planning to i use the cream of nature argan oil strength and shine leave-in conditioner spray and i use the pretty strands hair oil as like my two products that i use to moisturize my scalp and i tried to do that whenever it gets dry but i think i should have like sprayed it and used the oil um every four days just to make sure like my hair stayed moisturized but i mean it's all right because i'm about to decondition and i'm about to use some moisturizing shampoos it's so funny to me though like when i do have my box braids in sometimes it feels like i like had it in for way longer than i actually have but it feels like I had these in for two months, but I honestly almost, it feels like I almost had these in for like two months, but I just had it in for like a month and a week. But yeah, y'all, back to talking about my California trip. So the food was really good at um, Venice Beach. We got the, we got some pizza and we had fried Oreos. Those fried Oreos were so good. Like they wasn't greasy or anything. And then they had the white powdered sugar on it. I wish I would have ordered one to go. But I didn't want to be fat. <laughs> but it was still so good. The, and then the pizza we got was almost like New York style. It was like the big slices of pizza. Those was good too. I got Hawaiian. My best friend put me here to the Hawaiian pizza. It basically had like cheese and then Hawaiian bacon. And uh, pepperonis. I mean, not pepperonis, but um, pineapples. But it was so good. And then the crust was like thin, so it wasn't like too thick or anything. Especially since it's a big slice, you still got a good amount of pizza. Alright you guys, so I'm finally done with one side of my head. And as you guys can see, I have some nice little waves going on. And my hair is actually kind of soft. Like, it's not dry like I thought. Well, the back of my hair tends to get a lot drier than the front of my hair. Y'all, when you get tangly like that, you want to make sure that you work the knot out instead of like trying to just yank at it just so that you won't pull your hair out. Alright you guys, so I'm finally done taking out all my braids. And as you guys can see, I have my voluptuous hair back. Now I'm just going to show you guys my detangling process. And before I actually like comb out my hair and start putting product on my hair, I like to gently just like 
rub my fingers through my hair just so that I can get any of the shedded hair out before I actually start combing it. And I usually like to finger detangle also. Yesterday I took out about this much of my hair from just rubbing my fingers through my hair just to get any of the excess shedded hair out. And now I'm going to put my hair into four sections and I'm going to spray it with water, leave-in conditioner, and I'm going to let that set for a little bit and I'm going to start combing it with my white tooth comb. Alright you guys, my hair is now in four sections and I'm going to just spray my hair with water. And I like to start in the back and I like to work in small sections just so that I can help with less shedding. And then I'm going to be using the Pretty Strands Hair Products Moisture In Leave-In Made with Black Seed Oil. I'm finally done with the right side of my head and now I'm going to do the same thing to the left side. I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my wide tooth comb to detangle all four sections. Now that I'm done spraying my hair with water and spraying the Pretty Strands Leave-In spray on my hair now I'm just going to detangle each section of my hair with my wide tooth comb and then after that I'm going to wash my hair and I like to detangle my hair in small sections so that when I'm combing through my hair I'll be able to go through the section more easily rather than having a big section and having a harder time detangling my hair and I honestly feel like when you're doing a pre-pull on your hair I feel like it makes the wash day so much easier and if your hair does start to get like tangly you might want to just go slow with working the comb through that section just so that you won't rip out any unnecessary hair Do you see how easy it is for me to comb out my hair? That's exactly why I like to do my finger detangling first and then working my comb through smaller sections so that it can be an easy detangling process when I take my protective styles out. Alright, so I'm finally done combing out my hair with my wide tooth comb. And this actually is a combination of how much hair came out with me finger detangling my hair and raking out all the excess shit here and using my wide tooth comb so i don't think it was a lot of hair that came out especially considering that i had my hair tucked away for about a month and a week in my box braids so this isn't that bad especially since we're supposed to shed a hundred strands of hair a day so i'm getting ready to wash my hair with the curls dynasty cocoa mint moisture rich shampoo And this smells really good. It smells like cocoa and mint. And I'm going to deep condition my hair with the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. And it's only like, uh, when I tell y'all it's only a little bit in here, like, I love this product so much that I basically use all of it. So I might only be able to get like one section with this product. So I'm going to use the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco. Intensive conditioning treatment for the rest of the sections of my hair. I definitely want to do a review on the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line as well as the Cream of Nature Clay and Charcoal line. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you can join the Faith Gang. And so you can see all the videos that I post. And hit the post notification button so you can get notified when I post all my new videos. And leave in the comment section down below some products that you use when you're taking out a protective style. Maybe your favorite shampoo, your favorite conditioner. I would like to hear about some of the products that you guys are using. So thank you guys for watching again, fan gang. See you guys in my next video.